Well, the field has recovered pretty greatly, I would say. Remember when Nick was out here in the snow ripping it up? Yeah, that was three days ago. Still pretty nasty out here, but not as bad as it was. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty gross. Anyway, imagine if you would have saved the test drive until today. Oh well. Hey, bud! Looks really good! Did you jizz it up? No. Really? Yeah, it's just rust. This is what happens when you start with a fresh machine, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's true. What do you got back there? I got a special surprise back there. I got a couple more special surprises down here. Yeah, you've gone crazy, I'd say. And what, what trailer is this for all of us who haven't seen this before? This is a good Samaritan that lets me borrow his trailer. He shall not be named. He's a good guy. My truck doesn't like this trailer. It's too heavy, but... Well, your truck is lower than 19 oh, inches. Uh, <laughs> Read it right there, bro. It's ready. Yeah, in case you guys were uh, curious what we do with those big ass things Blake gave us. Anyway, wow, it's almost too wide. Big girl. You want to ride up front? Ah, you do. Yeah, it's gross out here. The coyotes are still looking good. Coyotes. What does this thing got on her? About eight miles now? Seven, bud. Seven? <laughs> it's only got you seven. You get eight right now if you want. For real? Oh, Look at the backup cam. This feels like <laughs> this next level in terms of seed beside. Let's go hey, talk to Doug. Up, Let's man. go talk to Doug. That is so cool too. I gotta say, parts of this machine really make me jealous. I gotta say. When you getting one, Doug? What's up, dudes? It's so tempting, man. Look at it. It's oh so cool. God. It's I so know. cool. Well, let's see where we're at right now. Oh, oh. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> Such an ass. <laughs> I don't know if I can deal with this. I know. This is gonna be. This it's is so be nice. Problem. Yeah. Oh no, Piper. Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Piper's really uh, made this his home. That little <laughs> shit. <laughs> like instantly, I got to the garage the other day. I'm staring at it. He looked at it, and then he looked at me, and he freaking pounced on it. Like, <laughs> <"Out!" laughs> All right. So uh, a lot of people are asking what you're doing with the old 1K. What am I doing with the 1K? Nothing. She's still part of the family, dude. 1K's my roots. I keep it for a while. <laughs> All right. Rather drive it. Why get rid of a good machine, you know? That's a good point. That's a good point. Uh, Come ride in the back, Doug. All right. You don't want to walk up here. It's not good out. You're right. Hey, bud. It's just like a family vehicle, you know? <laughs> it's a four-seater. <laughs> Um, someone went a little crazy. It's just out of control, man. You guys remember the last time he had a new machine, he went out and bought a stack. Slightly smaller than this stack. Here we are with another stack. Just straight to the top, this guy. Tell you what. Get it? <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? I don't know if you uh, see it. Project 168 is on uh, on track. <laughs> it's the glory zone, dude. <laughs> Where's the glory zone? <laughs> I mean, the glory zone's here, as okay. you can see already, you know? <laughs> the glory zone's here. <laughs> We're just gonna jizz up the glory zone, dude. Uh, all right, we got some what, stuff. What do we got? <laughs> okay. <laughs> all types of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his phone. He's gonna drop his phone. Oh, no, it's still up there. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> That was really, it's like a nice little pirouette. <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> okay, anyway. All right. So what'd you, uh, what'd you do what'd here? You what do we got here, huh? <laughs> this is, this is too much. <laughs> what are these, you say? Door bags, my know. man! For what, you say? Doors, my man! Oh, okay, that's good. These are, uh... Same doors as a 110 unit. I'm a big fan of them. Good units. That's a mandatory mod. Yeah. Full doors, doors. Yeah. Pretty much anything. As you can see from the first video we did, which uh, was a bit of a mess, you need doors or you're going to have a mess. Okay, door bags. Uh, doors. What else, bud? Got the doors. Going right to the big box, eh? Okay, you're right, Doug. Doug, he's right. <laughs> 
I'm a big fan of seeing everything around me at all times because I can make sure my crew members are all safe, aka Leonardo, aka Butterfield Master. <laughs> so we got some mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I'm a big American. I like big harnesses, right? I gotta hold these suckers in. Not that I don't like the Polaris ones. I just like a, a thicker strap, you know? You're not wrong. Three inch, bud. Three I feel inch, you. man. <sighs> What's this? I wonder. I don't know. Pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoops. Maybe jumping ahead there, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what happened here? What happened here? <laughs> As if it didn't ride good enough already. Is this also because you're a big American? Yes. Okay. A big old fat ass. Alright, I'm gonna take these things out of the bag. Whoa! Dang, look at the padding on that sucker. Man. That is a nice looking seat. That is a butte right there. Yeah. An absolute friggin' butte. Yep. Looks like it'll drain well. It's got yeah, a big hole in the back. Yeah, that's nice as well. Yep. Feels pretty robust. Now Sweet I can colors. go to the garage, sit in the seat, go to sleep. <laughs> you can live in this thing now. Why not? <laughs> okay, what else do you got, bud? Absolutely beautiful. Sorry, That's going to be nice. See it, I'm sorry. F that plastic, dude. What's on, the, what's on the hood there? What is this, a harness? Harness for what? That's for freaking extra lighting. I've never in my life owned a light bar. Pretty excited about this. Pretty freaking excited about this. We're gonna freaking. <laughs> what is going What's on that? here? Okay. We're gonna light up the whole world, dude. Okay, okay. <laughs> what is this you say? A ring? A steering wheel? Wrong. A lock for a bead. <laughs> That was a, if, you put that hair, if you could put that hair net on, that'd be neat. <laughs> <laughs> That's Doug in a previous life. Oh yeah, brother. Oh yeah, brother. Beadlock life, baby. Beadlock life. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. On a list of things you don't need, a lot of this was pretty high. I'd say what you definitely need would be the rims, the light bar, the seats, the lights, the, the doors, and then the harnesses. Isn't that the hole? <laughs> yeah, what did you the miss thing? there? What did you miss? <laughs> That's pretty much what I keep. Okay. <laughs> oh, so yeah, man. we got uh, Project 168, a uh, great start. There's more to come from that. It's gonna be a freaking awesome time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, the coyotes are barking a little bit. Did you hear them? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. His axles are wound right up when he hit the throttle there, just one tire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come here, right a little now. close, bud. It's so wide. Here you go. Hey, Leonardo. Hey, bud. It is quite a bit bigger than the other one. I know we've said this before, but wow. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. Jeez. Yep. Hmm. Where do we start, man? Doors? Seats. seats? I say do seats. Do seats? I say you guys both work on it and I film so I don't have to do anything. Smart. Fair. Smart. All right, so we've opted yeah. to do the seats here. Um, Wow. wow, this is really simple. Yeah, they come out like deadly easy. Really simple. So do you even need to utilize the mounting hardware on the bottom? I you must it, have to utilize uh, that. I think it comes with new hardware. There's new, yeah, there's new hardware with the with the seats, so I guess we we'll might see. Not have to use maybe then, use that. Yeah, there's no way they include that. So they come out. And then they probably don't include this base, but huh. let's see. Interesting. Let's check it out. Yeah, that is nice how easy these seats come out, unlike the X3, not to try to dig on it, but this is simple. Oh, and turns out that apparently there is some sort of controlled deceleration somewhere in this unit. Yeah. Like I don't know where it's at exactly, but. Oh, right there it is. So it looks like that comes apart and then that's like your tether. Wow, that's interesting. So if interesting. you hit it really hard, then that fold. Gosh, what is that, just glued together? Yeah. Interesting. Must work pretty well. Yeah. So. 
Shouldn't have talked crap about him. Oh yeah, buddy. Look at them. Real suspension style, too. Play a song. Polaris is cool. The can is cooler. <laughs> what a stupid dude. <laughs> oh, my God. We have to start selling ourselves on these brands, bro. People are already thinking that I'm all freaking pro can am as it is. I gotta really sell it. I mean, you're pretty pro can am. You're both pro can am. Oh, really? Not really. Ah. Uh, wait, wait what we, is this? Wait till we test drive this XX here next week and he just flips right back. I oh, you love Yamaha for life. Or not. I love freaking Textron forever, uh, dude. I text Ron before I had anyone text Ron. Text Ron. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, this what is this? Like this? So, this looks like the mount. So, it probably does something like that. And yeah, maybe like this. Okay. And then so all the stock the, hardware kind of. Yeah, so there's a bar in the front that this probably hooks under, just like the stock seats. Oh, and yeah, then, okay. Uh, maybe we reuse the latch off the base of the stock seats to latch it in. I don't know. We haven't really looked at this yet. I don't yet, know. So. It's a lot of excitement here. Seems plausible, though. There is a lot of excitement. All right, compare that one to this thing, dude. Okay, so yep, this one's got these for tabs. Interesting. <laughs> Glad right. I missed that part. Let's get freaking rolling here. All right, T27. So T27. Whoops. And we tried a T30. It's not a T30. Oh, we're getting there. Uh, this little guy take, here. You gotta take this guy off, maybe? Is that what it says in the instructions? Doesn't it just slide to the side, or no? Does it actually have to slide to the side? Yeah, I guess it's kind of trapped, isn't it? Trapped. What about oh, this that's guy the here? adjuster, so can you do like that? Oh, there you go. Oh, Smart. Fucking dog, Look dude. at that. Okay, I see what's going on with that plate now. Yep. Yep. So sure enough. This is what we need right here, basically. This yeah, so this sword. plate is the same as this plate. And then we don't even mess with this. But this plate's welded in place, so. Yeah, so you kind of see what's going on. Now, uh, this might be, oh no, that's the right side. So this is just what holds your adjuster. Pins in there, your little adjuster pin goes. Does that fit through there? Or we have to undo it. No. She's gonna fit. She'll fit better. We got a little spring here. Yeah, spring and the adjuster. Right, There's a T27 in. with a 10 millimeter on the bottom. Is it 10 millimeter? Dang it. Hey, can I get anything right today? What is your fucking problem? Be <laughs> smaller than a 10, we're gonna see if it's gonna work. Could be a 3 8 This is an American unit. He nailed it. Oh, they give you a new one of these digits to here too. Yeah, a new little washer. Cool. Take her out, bud. Oh no. Oh. Can't is turn it? Fine. No, that's an Allen. This is so confusing. I tried to turn it. Didn't work. <laughs> I mean, like, twist it. Oh, heck no. Dang it. Allen's. That's a 5, right? Yes. You got her. My life isn't a lie. You got her. <laughs> That's a fire rock. Fire rock. Is there a nut on the bottom of that too? What a no didgeridoo. Way. Is there? No, no, you're good. Okay. You sure? It's long. I guess we could have taken the seat base off the frame. Oh, there's a nut on it. <laughs> Is there really? Yeah. I didn't see it. it. You can have to get it from this side, dude. It's a real cluster. Oh no, he can't. Just take the seat base. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, go he's ahead. got it, he's yeah. got it. Yeah. Look at Nick Seuss coming in. Key. Needle nose, baby. With the needle nose. <laughs> needle nose, baby. That's how we do, baby. What does the needle do? It knows. Whoa, whoa. Cool. Thing was talking to us. Whoa. There, there it is. <laughs> Ooh, nylon washer. Neat. My favorite type of plastic. All right, so we can probably put this. Uh, yeah, you don't want to put that together. Assembly back together. Step one. Step one. So Step something one. like that. Yep. With a washer. Washer. Uh, nope, not nope, that yet. That wasn't that one. Dang it, where'd it go? Oh, there one? it is. I wonder if people are watching the video and they can see what we're not seeing, and they're getting like pissed. <laughs> it's right there, dude. Probably. Just grab it. All right, so this dude. <laughs> this dude makes sense so far. <laughs> then we need the other washer, don't we, Nick? The the new one? Yeah. Yeah. It came in the box on the instructions. Where is that? <laughs> Where's the instructions? Oh, on the bench, probably. Got the fresh washer in, dude. 
<laughs> Does it look right? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, it fits, right? Ish. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so is it actually a 10 mil? No. no, no, it's not even close. Probably a 3 8 So we can't tighten that too much, probably. Okay. Yeah, you got a little spring doodad. So. A little spranger. Sorry, I could have just brought that That's to okay. you. Okay, probably goes the other. Oh, there you go. This is the fourth time we're attempting this maneuver. There, well, that was smart. I thought, but. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, there we go. Dang! There we go, finally. Finally. Oh, that was hard was to not. watch. There wasn't we there go. A, wasn't there a backside to this? That one doesn't move, so mm. no. Mm. So far, not that big of a deal. Little things, bud. Use the wrong tools again. Put them together. Oh, that was the Allen, wasn't it? Dang it. Alright, so we got the... Not complicated, but it appears that we struggled base put together. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> We're gonna need the seat now. It is early, dang it. <laughs> that's the real problem here. Uh, I tell you what, boy, where is the seat? There we go. There we go. <laughs> well, go like that. Where's the hole? Back here. The other way. And then, like that. I'll oh, remember this, we'll get it through talk. There it was, hell yeah. Nice. Cool. Once we get her all bolted in place. All right bro, let's get this base on here. Base in your face. So interesting how the Polaris works. So basically, when you get your bolts in, um, so yeah, what they say is basically use Loctite and torque them down to only five foot pounds. Yep, not a lot of pounds, so this sleeve you know, they'll bottom out on this sleeve against this surface, so it shouldn't pinch on the plastic. Apparently, if you over-tighten them, you can pinch the plastic down, and then your seat won't slide, so. All right, that's a bad thing to have, so. You don't want to be doing that. No impact. Yep. On this. As much as we love the impact. I do. I'm already <laughs> irritated. <laughs> Not using it. Love the impact, do I do? Starting bolts by hand. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. That's freaking Just started with an impact. <laughs> Loctite. I thought we were going to invent purple Loctite, a mix of blue and red. What happened to that? I don't think, I think that already exists. Oh, loctite. does it? Dang. We yeah. should still do it anyway. Super hard, but not. <laughs> yeah, it's extra medium. And this is exciting. Oh, wow. Holy crap, look at those. It's a big seat. Where's the cushion? Where's the cushion? Super, looks super nice. Here's the cushion. Again, looks like a little stingray. <laughs> Put her in, dude. Wow, that is freaking sweet. Yeah. Damn! OMG. <laughs> <laughs> That looks really nice, man. Oh. How do you feel about it? Tell me how you feel. What are your first thoughts? I feel like a fucking speed racer, dude. I feel really good. Really good. Yeah, you know, I get emails from old people saying that we shouldn't swear. I didn't swear. I said a friggin' speed racer. <laughs> Definitely <Doug>. swore. <laughs> Can we confirm or deny the swearing? Yeah, yeah. You know, all that language just isn't necessary, bud. What language? Yeah, it's really nice, though. Like, the setup is just simple, man. Yeah. Clean, easy, just basic. There is a certain benefit to having things co-designed with the machine. Oh wow. Is it nice? <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. It's a place to be. Man, this is a comfy place to be. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wow. trying to say, Doug? I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Doug, what is it that you're trying to <laughs> say? <laughs> you know they make these Compl in blue, right? Just complimenting your machine. Blue, you say? Can, I, you put blue? can I put Yamaha stickers on? <laughs> You can do whatever you want. Stickers off. I'm all the time, on. freaking, I got a Ford sticker <laughs> on the front of my freaking race. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, wow, this is going to ride really nice. See if the adjuster works. Oh, yeah, it works nice. Hmm. Pretty cool. How far forward will it go? It'll go up there. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> that gives you a lot. That's like, Look at that. shoot, that's like six <laughs> inches. Yeah, I mean. That's, that's like really NASCAR funny. style, no, man. Seriously. That's how they drive NASCARs. That's cool, man. You ever watch that? They're like, hey, guys. Yeah. Right up on the wheel. Awesome, dude. Let's throw the other one in. Oh, yeah. You want to sit in there, man? I do. We'll do a first-person view of the sit. Since people don't like to look at me on video, anyways. It's a big seat. It's a big seat. Wow. Seats are going to be almost touching each other in the center. Razor pads are narrow to begin with. Yeah. Oh, wow. It is comfy. Dang. It hugs the love handles just right. Yeah. Just right. It keeps you in right. place. Hello. Keeps you in place. Man, so the second one's in. That was the easiest seat install I've ever seen. So, I mean, not that we've done a ton, but we've done YXZ seats. Yeah, and, X3. Uh, we've done X3 seats. And, you know, none of them were hard, per se, but, right. you know, they all were more involved than, than this. This thing's really just bolted. No trimming, no cutting. Yeah, I think there's a certain benefit, too, of the way they have this thing designed. Right? It's so easy to get the seats out, so the base is right there to operate on. Yeah. It's a real good unit. Yeah, super simple. Need a hand there, man? Harnesses, uh, uh, harnesses were absorbing too much energy. Right, good point. Project 168 apparently is going to need to get itself a flag mount. I mean, and we're going to the dunes tomorrow. You can't really do much at the dunes unless you have a freaking flag mount. So yeah, so that. you guys yeah. have seen Michigan. They require the big flags up front. Not our fault. The yeah, players went out of their way to reposition these flag mounts in the rear so they're super easy. <laughs> Just freaking. <laughs> no, let's never use those ever. <laughs> Doesn't work for us, bud. Uh, so we're going to get straight out of hand. This thing's all beefy and heavy duty, so we're going to make a flag mount on some quarter inch cold <laughs> rolls. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So I think the strategy is just to use these two bolts that the tow hook on the front mounts to. So it's probably just going to be like a simple L bracket. We're going to keep it up top so you can still hook to this to, to tie it down. So it'll just be an L bracket and we'll either put it behind the tow hook or we'll, you know, slot it for the tow hook and we'll decide that later. But first step is going to be just to put a bend in this thing, drill a couple holes in it. Heck yeah, dude. Getting back to the fab life. It's been a while. Yeah. How do you feel about it, Nick Seuss? feel really good. Are you sure you just don't want to use this right here, dude? <laughs> That's pretty cool. We could make that work. Here, no, here's one right here, dude. <laughs> That's Steve's brass knuckles. Oh, uh, Steve this is looking for blood. This stuff would probably work well, but I just don't want to do it cutting it out right now. Right. old plasma torch. Last time we used the plasma, it was a bit of a process. We were low on blood. I haven't fixed it, so. Oh. The low toast, dude. Low toast, good unit. Little lotus, dude. <laughs> what a little lotus. Roll up outside, and I'll hear meow, 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 and then it'll just pop out of nowhere. And it's just full of burrs and blood. Doug? I've never <laughs> seen him do that. That's really interesting, though. Doug! Uh, full of burrs and blood? <laughs> yeah, you know, you guys, there's something you guys don't know about Dougie D Stream. What's that? He blacks out of the night and he goes and he kills creatures. <laughs> what? I've seen Doug black out before. It's interesting. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Holy <laughs> snakes, dude. Heck yeah. So we're setting this up. We're going to give her a little bend. Just going to use the hot wrench. Warm it up a bit. Not the Mexican socket set? Bend it. <laughs> Make sure she's square. Look at that. Square-ish. This is going to be painted red, right? Mm. I see a red cap over I think, there. I think all I have is blue. <laughs> for Doug? I'll, I'll paint it blue for Doug, dude. All I have is Yamaha blue. Uh, I'm seeing red over here. I'm pretty sure it's the ceramic stuff, too. Oh, oh, rust oleum. Perfect. Rust -oleum, Enamel. That's the good stuff. It's the good stuff. All right, so I'm thinking we're not quite going to 90 degrees. No. Maybe like 85. That might be okay, though. Set the flag out a little bit further. Eh. Oh, yeah. Just away from the plastic. Yeah, do you want your flag pointed out forward? Or you Mine want does now. Leonardo style? <laughs> dude, mine right now is like this, dude. From the freaking bends from the, the Indy race. I went ahead and spent way too much money on one of those billet things, mm -hmm. and it just doesn't hold doesn't at all. Doesn't really work very well. Garbage. Freaking roll up Leonardo's flag just sitting on the roof. Let me get a little sip of that, dude. What? Just the juice? The of this, dude. That's good stuff. 
That shit is delicious, dude. Is that how they work? Nick's got his fab hat on. I'm more fab hat today, dude. <laughs> oh, just gonna give her a little heat. Actually, I have a nice rosebud that a uh, fan sent. I haven't got a chance to put it on yet, but next time we do some serious heating, we'll be using it for sure. Starting to apply the pressure there, bud. A little bit, just seeing if she's soft yet. I feel like it's starting to bend. What do you think? Yeah, it's moved a little. Ooh. Yeah. Lean on it. Lean on it! Ah. If you need a flag mark, we need a flag mark. I'll be your friend. Doug, be my friend. And fab one for you. Find one for me, Doug. We got oh, it. fab. Fab one for me, Doug. Look at the heat going through there. It's so You're interesting right. looking. You can see it. Yeah. It's a pretty thick piece, but. Yeah, quarter inch bed. Oh, there you go. We're getting there. Getting her cherry bud. Getting her cherry red. That's what a lot of people who don't know what they're talking about like to say. Cherry Skitter red. Skitter cherry red. <laughs> I've never seen a piece of metal cherry red in my life, dude. Uh, Your metal's cherry red. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> She's talking to you. Finish her out. I think that's about 85. I think that's probably pretty close to what we need. Good work, bud. This is gonna be the strongest flag mount known to man. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna freaking huck it. It's gonna land. Dig this thing in, and the machine's gonna rotate around it, dude. That's how thick it is. You can see the crystalline structure just really getting stretched there. You need to quench that, Nick. Yeah, it's all about the quench, man. Quench it. If there's one thing I learned, it's all about the quench. Quenching we got, steel works I great. Do that. We I got quenching that. fluid right here. <laughs> Professional quenching fluid. Here, Waste of, yeah. Waste of good loco. <laughs> Waste of good loco. Right there, Doug. There's a quenching spot. A nature's form quenching location. <laughs> oh, wow. She's warm. So if you could just uh, do that for the rest of the field, that'd be great. <laughs> Get all that water out of there. Just take the torch out there and... I'll see it back in about 19 years. There you go. I'll scoop some in there. Right. Ooh. Fried ice. Heck yeah. That is fun. <laughs> Seriously, like look that. at that. Oh. Like cooking friggin' ice. How do you like yours? Melted or <laughs> not? <laughs> <laughs> Melted or... <laughs> For vaporized too. You can find any other water puddles. Let's go to the ditch. You are really fascinated by this, I see. Yeah, dude, it's all about the quench, dude. Yeah, we're not. It's fully quenched now. Too much more fun. She's quenched. All right, the fun's over. Next step, bolt removal. So Nick did notice that there was some things going on right here we could have utilized. These little didgeridoos. Yeah, I looked at those as well, but. I don't know, it just seemed risky pop something out through here. I mean, yeah. there's enough space, but... This is so thin, too, yeah. if you somehow dig it in. I think this is better in terms of making sure we don't damage the plastic. Right, I agree. You know. Nice, man. <clears throat> Plus, I mean, Nick's going to put this thing right into the dirt pretty right. much immediately anyway. Huh? Well, those nuts aren't easy to get at. Oh, no. Are they like, captured? Feels like they're captured. Feels Perfect. Like they're, they're welded, so... Okay. It's my favorite type of nut. Cool. Favorite type of nut. It's a captured nut. Type of type. Oh yeah, they're captured, dude. Perfect. Oh, right, Perfect. 100%. America's treasure, dude. There's that, that impact gun. Oh. Man, I saw a new. They got a. Uh, I think that one's like 350 <laughs> foot pounds or something like that. They got a new brushless one out that's 700, and it's like a lot smaller and lighter. Dang. I want it real bad. Anyways, there's the tow hook. We're gonna use that as a template to mark our, you know, steel. For the holes. Nice. Couple holes in it. What is that gonna look like? Something like this. Yeah, so I'm thinking when this is all said and done, it's gonna look something like this. Move Nick Seuss. <laughs> there you go. So pretty pro. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, still utilize that hook, no problem. Yeah, and we'll just kinda, you know, Ooh. knock those knock those corners off and nice. That's exciting. Probably not. I'll probably it's only two holes. I'll probably just put it in the vise and drill it in the vise. Drill them by hand. Put it in 
Weiße. Weiss, this is uh, probably the most underrated tool. Yeah, Weiss, yeah. Because like once you get into stuff, you realize you need a vice for everything. everything. Yeah. I mean, look at this thing. It's been used for everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd say 90% of our videos, it's in there. Right. The garage videos. Look at Nick's just making a big mess over here. I'm making a mess, Leonardo. <laughs> yeah, look at all your look crap in here. What? It's time to test, that. dude. Test the brushless. Brushless. I bet you it'll work no problem, bud. It should work. This isn't real uh, good steel for stuff. It's a dead battery, though. So. <laughs> oh, is that what happened there? Dang it. Back with a fresh battery. Oh, yeah. spray. Oh, she's hot. Oh, wow. She's bound up in there, huh? Yeah, we're through the other side. So. Wow, that went through real easy. My favorite thing to do when it binds up like that is put the drill on high speed and just let it break the drill bit. Just bash it in. Yeah. <laughs> Looks <laughs> like a freaking brooch, good, dude. Good drill chips. Yeah, dude. Cool. A little deeper. She's so versatile. Where do you get something like that? On the interwebs. Nice. Really? Who makes something like that? Not a lot of people make things like this. I don't remember what brand this one is. A Mango 2 by Shaviv. <laughs> Shaviv owes us some money because we've been <laughs> pumping that thing for like three years straight now. <laughs> Alright, so I think we'll just bolt it up loosely and see uh, for fun mm, yeah. how we did on that bend angle. The bend angle? Did you get another bolt? Oh, well, they're not centered on the thing? No, see this thing. The holes are actually towards the one side of this. So when I marked them, I did that. And if you do that, then you get more space here to bring it down. Oh, dang it. I'm going to slot those holes about a quarter inch so this can come down a little, just so it's not touching, touching the bottom of the plastic. And it's time, presenting everybody's favorite slotting tool, <laughs> the carbide blade! <laughs> It's several small blades. Maybe after he quenched it, he actually made it a little harder. <laughs> oh, she's working. I don't know if that's. I'm sorry, Doug. I don't know if that's a fat joke or what that is, but it's like watching a whale just flail around on the ground, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe we actually bent a little too far because it's a little bent down. That's okay. But yeah, it'll keep it away from the plastic if it's bent down. I mean, yeah. If you want, we can do like Nick was saying, a little second bend out here to flatten it out. No. Dude, or if not, I just prefer it away from the front. Just leave it point away from the front. How far do you want to make it stick out? Because if you have a pool noodle for your flag, you don't necessarily need it to stick out very far. Yeah, I mean, like right here would be. Right there, really? Yeah, dude, the further away, yeah, I'd even be down with that. I don't give Just shit. add a couple more feet to that, I think. <laughs> Just sharpen this thing to a point and drive around. It's a good idea. Pull up next to me, pop my big horn. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Uh, all right, well, I'm going to just go ahead and finish this side of it anyways. So we'll go in here and trim these corners, just round them off, and then find some bolts to loosely bolt it up there, and then we'll place the hole for the flag. Look at what Nick's installing, too. It's just got more stuff. Those are actually really nice. Yeah, they, I think do you want them that low? No, I don't know. I just set them up. Just you know, I'd put them here. here. Don't you think? Frickin Aim them inside too. Friggin' Doug, dude. 
I gotta say, the flags they're making you use are pretty heavy duty these days. Yeah. <laughs> so really savage. I was use that, but it's a little too long. <laughs> we can pull it all the time. It's not gonna bag. work. So we're trying to decide whether he wants the egg, the flag, angled away from the machine a little bit, and then we can drill the hole closer to the bumper. Or if you want it straight up and down, we can bring it out here. Man. Good call. I, just, I, just I say you get it as close as possible, just for digging in purposes. Nick. Oh yeah, I guess I know what you're saying. If we keep it behind the wheels, because that's the basically the lowest point of the front of the machine. Are you still? Are you gonna run a fun noodle, or do you not want to run a fun? Noodle? I have a fun noodle, so I'll run it. Are they fun now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. If you have a pool and you don't have a fun noodle, you're not having fun in the yeah, pool. Yeah, you're basically like, an idiot. Super for real. All right, so you want to do something like that? Yeah, because I mean the thing is thinner than that, and the fun noodle. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. I, I think it's smart to not have it sticking out super far. Right. So right there will keep us behind the wheels. Yeah. Right. That's a good Somebody point. Somebody walking across the front's not likely to hit their knee on it, you know, or their shin if we keep it in there. Well, too, as far as digging purposes. Like I think said. we should make it really sharp, too. Like, sharpen up the edge, quench it. Real yeah. Japanese samurai sword style. Beat it over on itself 19 times. I wish I had the ability to like make a beat like that. Do you see what, how, what happened there? Uh-huh. That was so weird. All right, how do you want the front of this thing shaped? Dude, uh, Illuminati confirmed, Doug. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, you do like a radius on the front, something like that. How do you want this thing shaped? Hmm. Tongue style? Illuminati. It's got to be a tongue because I'm going to paint it red and then put some little like sharpie veins in it, like a tongue. Okay. Oh, mm, I guess that's not really like a tongue, is it? <laughs> Sharpie veins, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I like what you've done here. That was loud. That was very so this loud. is where the flag's going, and then we're gonna, you know, cut it off and do something like that just to finish her off. Can we put it like a P O L? We could. We could just leave this whole thing on like plasma oh. out, side by side blog. <laughs> That's actually really smart. Or Doug, can you put your face in this? <laughs> Maybe next time. Dang it. <laughs> The flag hole's drilled. Now it's time for Doug's hole to be drilled. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, Nick. Didn't you want to drill Doug's hole next? There is no <laughs> People were thinking that's the direction that you traveled. What does that mean? Due to your lack of women on video. Yeah, maybe I don't like bringing the people I enjoy. Never mind. Around the people that you don't enjoy? That's what he was going to say, Doug. That's not what I was going to say! Just so you know that. That's what he was going to say. I know. I know. He just doesn't want us to ruin anything for him. I get it. Right. Oh, oh yeah. Get in the radius, bud. Oh, yeah. Nick's eye, by the way. Show him your eye from all the dirt that got in it. It's just stuck like halfway, dude. <laughs> Look at uh, it. There's a big thing inside of it. Let all me right. get close. Let me get close. Look at that. See how it's all puffy? You guys did this to him. I was Actually, muck in the field. <laughs> it was mostly me and Doug. What are you gonna do? It had to be done. In the field. Had to be done. I mean, we didn't make you not put goggles on. Anyway, moving on. That's a good point. That is a good point. I thought of that. Flag mount's done-ish. Deeper those holes maybe a little bit more. Throw some black paint on there, some red paint on there, some pinstripes, or... I say we do it flesh colored. Some blue. I like a dog <laughs> signature on there. <laughs> I'll sign it and we'll paint over it. Deuce. Uh, <laughs> cool, man. Yeah. So won't that's look, it. Won't look too shabby. No, it's going to be real clean. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's almost got to be black due to the location. Or red. Or red. It's got to be black. Like man. the snake tongue? Nah. What about a snake tongue? I think I might have missed that. <laughs> what if we made it green? Never tongues aren't really green. green typically, but according to Leonardo, there's veins in tongues. There's probably, I mean, it, does it bleed? You know, you're not Does wrong. it bleed? You're not wrong. So there's a vein in it. You're not wrong. Time to paint this the SOB. Like there where there's no overspray towards the cars? If you spray that much Listen, to where you're going to get dude. overspray on the cars, Listen. you're doing it wrong. Just, Nick, do it right here. Do it right here. I don't care if you get overspray on the Volt. It ain't going to happen. I'm not talking about your car. You don't care about the Volt? It has a different wheel on one side. Of course I don't care about the Volt. 
It's a winter wheel too. I popped the tire. I don't want to buy a whole new one. I said this. You ain't getting a new tire, Danielle. This is not a great tire. That's a great can. Your ability to judge wind patterns is suspect at this point. No, you're not wrong. This this thing is not very good. That's where all that mud was hiding. <laughs> so we're just gonna reroute these or are we putting on the harnesses? Just Trust me, just reroute them. I'm trying Listen, to. Listen, Leonardo, just reroute them. I'm trying to. It's all squished up in there. Yeah, just scratch the paint. What paint? I'm just kidding. Hey, Grab her, Dad. Pull these down, dude. Grab her, Dad. <laughs> Grab her. Got her, dude. Ugh. There we go. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we don't know if we got the adapter to work with the belt thing when we put harnesses on it, so we're just gonna throw these in there. We're a little low on time today, so he's doing the job. This is a rare Saturday work. Sit in there with the new harness location. I'm curious to see how this looks and works. Gosh, I, I do like the harness through the seat. That's really cool. Yeah, that is cool. I've never had a seat like that. Yeah. If you're like Leonardo, and uh, it seems to be the case, yeah, the harnesses are going to go up from the seat, which is interesting. Yeah, we're just going to do this for fun, but... Wow. How do you feel about it? Rip it. I don't want to hide. <laughs> <laughs> you going to be better tomorrow, you think? Probably not. It looks okay. It's just a little bit swollen at the bottom. If you really look inside, everybody's eye looks like that. No, there's a big white dot doesn't, in there. Doesn't feel okay. All right, so we got mirrors. We got a flag mount getting painted out there. Harnesses, dude. I bet you those freaking Allen's. What do you think? What's next? Uh, doors. Doug's, uh, oh yeah. Doors. 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 Um, Steering wheel. My main focus today was get to the dune. And we're there, dude. <laughs>